Bible prophecy is active and unfolding daily. Zechariah 12, Isaiah 17, Ezekiel 38. Here is what the lamestream media is not telling you. Shalom, my friends. Welcome to this week's newscast from the United States State Department. The misnamed UN Human Rights Council refuses to eliminate its agenda item number seven, which targets Israel unfairly by mandating that each session include a discussion of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The United States has officially withdrawn from the UN Human Rights Council over bias against Israel. U.S. Ambassador to the U.N., Nikki Haley, said, quote, It's now clear that our call for reform was not heeded. Human rights abusers continue to serve on and be elected to the council. The world's most inhumane regimes continue to escape scrutiny. And the council continues politicizing and scapegoating countries with positive human rights records. Therefore, as we said we would do a year ago, if we did not see any progress, the United States is officially withdrawing from the UN Human Rights Council. Close quote. Way to go, <laughs> Nikki. <laughs> Turning to my personal thoughts, if, if you were with me on this past Saturday's Walk in the Word, my friends, you'll remember me remarking about these bubbles that were coming out of nowhere and just like floating around. They were pretty big, you know. Well, the fireworks I mentioned also did ensue, although it wasn't until Sunday night at 10 p.m. As I mentioned, they probably would. And then it hit me. Oh, that's right. This weekend brings us the Satanic Gay Pride celebrations all over America, I imagine all over the earth. And the consequential and expected judgment from Elohim. Remember, gay pride goeth before a grand fall. <laughs> from San Francisco's Associated Press, hundreds of Northern California homes and businesses were threatened after wind-driven wildfires broke out over the weekend forcing thousands of residents to flee their homes throughout rural regions north of San Francisco. About 3,000 residents evacuated homes in Lake County, about 120 miles, that's 193 kilometers north of San Francisco. A wildfire there that was not contained at all grew to 13 square miles, that's 21 square kilometers, and destroyed at least 22 homes and buildings. Authorities also ordered residents to evacuate in Tahama County, about 200 miles, or 322 kilometers north of San Francisco, where two wildfires were burning. One grew to four square miles, that's six square kilometers, while the smaller one, of about a half a square mile, destroyed multiple homes and businesses in the city of Red Bluff. Judgment from Elohim? I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> Turning to wars and rumors of wars, on Tuesday, June 19th, from Ynet News, the Hamas terror organization led a serious rocket offensive against the Israeli home front last Tuesday evening with 45 rockets and mortar shells that were fired at Israeli communities from Gaza. 
Seven were intercepted by the Iron Dome air defense system, while at least three landed in Gaza. Then on Wednesday, June 20th, from Al Jazeera, one of the most intense recent barrages of rocket fire and airstrikes, Israeli jets attacked 25 targets linked to Hamas in the Gaza Strip after the group launched rockets and mortar shells at Israeli territory. Three Israeli Arabs were lightly injured during the attacks in the early hours of Wednesday. Then from AMN, Al Masdar News, the Syrian Arab army launched a small offensive in the northeastern countryside of the Dara'a Governorate. Backed by heavy artillery and missiles, the Taha group of the Tiger forces made their second attempt to capture the air defense base that's located near the strategic town of Busra al-Harir. According to preliminary reports from nearby Isra'a, the Syrian army has allegedly taken control of the air defense base after a fierce battle with the Islamist rebels in the area. Then on Saturday, June 23rd, from the Times of Israel, Artillery and bombs rained down on Syrian rebel-held areas in southern Syria as the Assad regime ramped up its offensive against the rebels after years of relative quiet and ceasefire. The first Russian airstrikes in more than a year were carried out against rebel positions. The offensive, currently 20 kilometers from Israel's Golan border, has the potential to cause spillover in the form of refugees or clashes. On Sunday, the IDF fired a Patriot missile at a drone near the Golan. Then on Sunday, June 24th, from the Wall Street Journal, Russia carried out airstrikes in southwest Syria, breaking a ceasefire agreement with the U.S. and Jordan. Big surprise, right? <laughs> Not. This is just one more example of Russia flouting arrangements it had entered into with no regard for civilian lives or for the agreements made. Liars. Turning to our Intifada update on Tuesday, June 19th. From Ynet News, 16 fires caused by incendiary kites sent from the Gaza Strip broke out in the Sadot Negev and Eshkol Regional Council regions bordering Gaza. All are under control. Then on Thursday, June 21st from Ynet News, 15 fires broke out in Israel after Israeli Arabs in Gaza flew incendiary kites and balloons across the border, setting ablaze trees in the Shokita Forest and the Be'eri Forest. Looking at our review of last week's news, the U.S. has officially withdrawn from the U.N. Human Rights Council over bias against Israel. Way to go, U.S. Hundreds of Northern California homes and businesses were threatened after wind-driven wildfires broke out, forcing thousands of residents to flee their homes throughout rural regions North of San Francisco, gay pride precedes a windy fall. The, <laughs> the Hamas terror organization led a serious rocket offensive against the Israeli home front with 45 rockets and mortar shells that were fired at Israeli communities from Gaza. Israeli jets attacked 25 targets linked to Hamas in the Gaza Strip after the group launched rockets and mortar shells at Israeli territory. Pretty busy situation last week in Gaza. Uh, the Syrian Arab army launched a small offensive in the northeastern countryside of the Dara'a governorate. Artillery and bombs rained down on Syrian rebel-held areas in southern Syria as the Assad regime ramped up its offensive against rebels. 
Russia carried out airstrikes in southwest Syria, breaking a ceasefire agreement with the U.S. and Jordan. Sixteen fires caused by incendiary kites sent from the Gaza Strip broke out in the Sadot Negev and Eshkol Regional Council regions bordering Gaza. And... Fifteen fires broke out in Israel after Israeli Arabs in Gaza flew incendiary kites and balloons across the border, setting ablaze trees in the Shokita forest and the Be'eri forest. And that, my friends, is what the lamestream media is not telling you. Abu willing, I'll see you here again next week. Until then, keep your wick trimmed. Keep your lamp burning bright. Shalom, my friends.